Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of our prefab exploration. As you can see here we have some uh, prefabs that we're going to be looking at and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to be looking at some houses, bridges, um, even a coliseum. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Alright, so as you can see here we have a prefab that I have actually put in the forest here to make it feel at home. All of these little bushes and stuff will come with this one. Um, this is just the kind of natural look to it. To get in this one, the original build wants you to do that. Teleport in through that crack right there. Okie doke. And then to get out, you'll do the same thing. You can see... Oh, there's a blue spot. But we're going to check this out. So, first floor here, we have a chest here. Put all your goodies in there you have your shelves here to put stuff in and then you have a map here an extra small button and uh, backpack hooks for all those backpacks that you want to hang out and I actually think that's a cool idea for the housing make backpack hooks that way you can always have like you know, your mining bag, your hunting bag, so on and so forth. Anyways, up here, it comes with this nice sword. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there, though. And then we got a uh, mini anvil here. There is no place to heat up your tools, so you kind of just have to, you know, run from the blacksmith here fast enough. No, I'm just kidding. I would say add, like, something in here to do that. Like maybe a mini fire pit to put your thing on. But, uh, yeah, that's there. But, uh, yeah, that's the, the, what I'm going to call the small house. I think that's what he calls it. And I will be giving credit to everyone at the end of the video. So, yeah, on to the next one. Oh, and before we take off, let me show you how to get out of here. You just stand along the side here. And where's the ground? I forget where the ground is. Right there. Alright, so here we have one of the same house on flat ground. And uh, let's see here. I think it's. Well, what side is it? What side? Is it right here? Yeah, I think it's right there. Well. Bang, just like that, yep. So that is the uh, technical way of you getting in and out. And this is everything that comes with it. So you got the grass and stuff, you got the rocks, uh, the trees, all of this comes with it, right? And uh, one thing that I would change um, if you have climbing is I would make it so that you have a way to get in just from climbing. Because not everyone has climbing, and you could climb in like right here if you remove this panel. So, I don't know, maybe some of you climbers could uh, add your own way in. Or if you don't care about, you know, hiding it, then you could add a doorway. Over here, I've kind of edited it myself. I added this doorway by lifting this wall up, you can see here. I could have removed it, but the wall or the opening would have been all the way up here. And I wanted to add some kind of... Um, or I want to keep it somewhat hidden, so, yeah, and then you just bop right in there, doorway's kind of out of the way there, and, uh, yeah, you can see I have a bag here, just to show how you could use it, and, yeah, that's the small house. Alright, up next we have a big house, or a regular house, I think this is just the, the regular size. Um, you can see it comes with rocks and stuff, but, uh, it doesn't, this ground isn't perfectly flat, so it had to be off the ground a little bit. It does look like they built it on a hill, though, because you can see the ground level is right there, and then, uh, you got this all the way up here, and the rocks are kind of higher up, so, you know, it, it might be, uh, a little different, but you got your mailbox here, you got your little shop here, you got your cooking station, a few outside storages for whatever you're working on, some water, and then if we go in here, this door 
it's kind of weird because these are made to pull up but this one's upside down so when you push it up it goes down and then if you pull it down well now that it's open it won't do it but yeah it's it's upside down basically see i'm pulling it down it won't do anything but if i go up it's weird those will be the ones in the third puzzle um in the third stage but anyways you got your little sending mailbox here with the little lamp next to it three more storages more wall mount stuff you got your town hall storage access there and then another map another chest and another one of those although i think that one's a little bit smaller i can't quite tell but i think and you'll notice this is kind of similar to the other one. I believe this is the same person that made both of them. So up here, you have a little bit more space. So that's kind of one of those things with these houses. I've noticed their their head height is really low on the first floor. But upstairs, it's really open. I kind of like that, you know. But anyways, we got a table here. Put your stuff on, you know. If you want to have an interesting dinner, cut up your food or whatever. You got more shelving space there and there. Tool rack here. And then you have a tool disassembler here as well as a bag disassembler. And you even have one of these crafting decks for... I guess you would dismantle stuff like pots and stuff here. But if you had a paper you could make stuff here. Another anvil that you can't use. Like I said though, I would add some kind of like... I don't know, maybe put one of those... Uh, blacksmith fire pits super small inside of the anvil so that it is heated up while you're doing it Or maybe make like a little oven off to the side here. I don't know you got little hammers here and uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it again if you wanted to make this like climbers only you could remove the door put a wall there and then pull out one of these panels here and That would make it so that only a climber can get in yeah, uh, overall this is pretty nice, and I like how they did this chair here. Alright, so we are skipping all the small stuff for now, and we are going to go straight into this Colosseum. This Colosseum was actually made by one of my guys on my server. Again, I'll add everybody's uh, names so that everyone gets credit. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Colosseum, right? So it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually over 200 pieces because I did have problems trying to turn it and move it so I would suggest getting really good at placing it also um, you're gonna need flat ground or add ground or something because yeah on a hill obviously that's gonna happen and with that cliff side that'll happen over here I think it would have been cool to have some kind of staircase up, but uh, I don't think this was really meant for specters. I mean, it could be. Like, why not, right? So, it's really nicely built. And I don't know how you would do a staircase for people, but I don't know. Maybe on the inside they do, like, stairs going up. I don't know. We'll see future versions, I'm sure. What I really want to see with this is people do their own version of this. Upload versions where it's like climbing combat or like water combat, you know. Add different obstacles inside that we have to do. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, you got there. You got this under area. And uh, yeah, real nice coliseum. Alright, up next we have something that's more of an additive to your world. It's like, it's not really a structure that you'll use much, but it, it's a bridge, right? So, I just wanted to show this off because I think this looks really good. Um, we got these little lanterns here made with the archways and however they did this part. I'm assuming just posts or something. I don't know, but it looks cool, you know. You got the little lanterns, the little um railings and stuff and i think this will actually be nice for replacing like the main town bridge um or if you have places in like the 
um, going to the climbing tower that you want to throw it in or something. You know, it looks pretty cool. All right, now that we've looked at all the bigger stuff, we're going to look at the smaller things going from this Stargate. Now, this is, I guess, meant for, like, your spawn. Oh, can I get up there? There we go. So if you spawn in here, then you can see out without that blinding you. But if you're out here, then you can't. This would be good for, like, say, PvP um, places that don't want you killing people inside spawn. Um, I would say, like, this is the safe place. And if you break the rules and kill somebody within that wall, then, you know, you, you get in trouble. You know, whatever that server's rules are. Um, what I personally think is... Because this is more like the Stargate style, I would pull out that blue, you know, light because it it's really hard to uh, move this thing without it breaking. And I've noticed w once I put this in, there was a little bit more lag in the area. So maybe without those blue things, it would cut down on the lag and you would still have your um, spawn space. That's like the safe zone. But at the same time, if you're looking for a sci-fi build, there you have it. Next up, we have this archway here. Now, this one was like a vine archway, but I did notice the the bushes, the things up here. Can I climb here? Yeah, I can. If you look in here, can we go in here? No, we can't. But, uh, here, let's see what we can do up this side. You'll notice those bushes are actually trees. You see that? So it's actually a tree there. They just shrunk down trees. I think that's creative. Like, nobody really... I mean, they might have done a little bit with the small houses and stuff, but, like, these are all small trees, and they're basically bushes. So, uh, yeah, I think it's nice. And then you have your options. You know, you have the stone retaining wall. Or you can do the wood retaining wall, you know, it comes with the options and then you can go from there. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. And I'm sure that the person had a specific setup for it because it looks like wherever it was going was elevated. So if you have somewhere that goes up, then you could like put a staircase here and then, you know, go in to wherever it is. Alright, moving on from that, we have... It's not really something that we don't have already. It's more of a uh, a way of cleanly throwing it wherever you want. It's one of the blacksmith uh, mold racks. So, or it's, I guess I should say it's all of the blacksmith mold racks with all of the molds. So if you create a blacksmith house that isn't the vanilla one, then you can throw this in it. Or you can even take the one that we have in town and replace it with this. Um, and yeah, it just has all the molds and it's nice and clean and, you know, you could throw it in your house there if you wanted to make that a blacksmith house and yeah, it looks pretty cool. Next up, we just have all of the climbing trial orbs. So you just start from the left here, grab each one. And once you get to that one and you do this one, it'll actually teleport you to the tower because when you finish the tower, it teleports you down. But, uh, yeah, for the people that don't want to do the tower, you can just take this throw it in your world and then do that and then you'll teleport to the tower and then if you have a tp potion you just teleport back to spawn up next we have a display case and it is missing a chunk back here that might have just been like something with the download or whatever i'm not sure but uh you can't put stuff in just like that you actually have to um move it with the prefabulator but if you were to like say open the top or the bottom or something and put the the orb things for items in there these docks then you could probably put stuff on display like that or you could just put like a bug or something in there with prefabulator all right down to the last few things here this is supposed to have a table and I'm going to fix this one, but this is actually something I did for my world. Um, it's just a station that I put at the beginning of the forest over here, um, over by uh, the shopping area. And then I actually put one by the blacksmith because I created my own shopping area there. And 
it's just so that you have your bank here, you have your storage, and then you have some extra slots to drop stuff off in, right? Some public storage, I guess. Um, also helps with reorganizing, you don't have to throw stuff on the ground. And then I also made this. You don't have to download this. In fact, I'm not going to upload this or anything. It's just three of these together. And then, you know, or you could do four or whatever. That way, if you're doing a big shopping district or whatever, you can just copy these and then paste them, right? You don't have to place each one individually. And if you're trying to line them up perfectly, you can see mine's not. But if you're trying to do that, then you don't have to worry about, you know, doing it hundred times if that's how many you have you can just copy a bunch and then like paste groups of them and it saves a lot of work so that's more of a, a tip than a build all right our last one here is this so it comes on this little deck here with these storage things and you get this thing now I'm pretty sure it's a sword but the picture that I saw was the guy had it in the ground like that and it looks pretty cool but yeah if you want something like this like here let's grab it so you can see the front a little dark huh let's go to the light so yeah you can see it's got a ton of different pieces in there real crazy looking all right so besides being crippled from holding this thing it is a beast like, I've got speed 3 on, and this is just me walking. So you can see it definitely cripples. This is me running with speed 3. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have this, I don't suggest trying to, uh, go anywhere that you might have to run away. This is pretty cool though, like, honestly, like, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but, uh, yeah, you guys see it pretty well, right? Looks pretty cool. Um, maybe if you could place it somewhere decoratively, you know. Or, I guess, maybe even... Uh, I know you can take items that are in your orbs and raise them up. You might be able to do that with this and have, like, one of these floating above you all the time. So, I don't know. You just could try it, though. Let me know how it goes. Fits on your back, so you look like an anime character. <laughs> but yeah i mean this would be cool to see in like the coliseum and uh you know in other battle games that we do because if you know people are making their own special weapons or downloading prefabs with cool weapons then that would be pretty cool to see you know huge swords flying around and people throwing and swinging them so yeah that's pretty much it for the prefabs um let me know what you guys think. If you have your own prefabs, you can actually uh, upload them to the Discord. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, I'm going to give credit to the people that did those prefabs now. Alright guys, so, um, for credit, we are going to start with the big house, which we are in. Um, that was Ninja Danny. Ninja Danny made the big house. He also made the small house, actually. So, that's the smaller version of this one. That's in the woods with no door. Um, the Coliseum was by Ojin Paul. Um, and these are the Discord names that I know. Um, so Ojin Paul Bridge was by Relic. Stargate was by Penk Lemon. Lemon? 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 I don't know. Uh, that's his YouTube actually. He, he's pink in Discord, but his YouTube is like Penk, like P E N K. And then Lyman, like L-I-M-O-N. Um, but yeah, he did the, the Stargate and the Vine Arch. And then the Moldrax was Jaredy00. Um, he did the Moldrax and then um, the actual sword cross thing that I had. Um, he built that, but apparently that was designed by Amagi, if I'm saying that right. And then, uh, oh, let's see, who else? Uh, climbing Orbs and Display Case were both by Fire Rocket. And he says they use that on the Time Ship server, so. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any builds that you guys want me to feature, 
Um, I will likely be doing this again. And if you want to know how to use Prefab Editor, let me know. Because uh, I know that it can be confusing, but it's definitely not as confusing as Dashboard is. So, yeah. Um, if you've used Dashboard to do this stuff, then Prefab Editor should be super easy. But uh, if you want that video, let me know. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, one more thing. I don't know what happened. I put the other one in the uh, the the thing that I got it from. But uh, when I got onto my computer and I got kicked from the server from inactivity, I spawned back with this. So yeah, blades are gone. That's pretty cool, right? Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. So until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.